okay now let's call this function in our main loop in the run function right so what we will do is we want to plot our clustering state every time there is a new movement let's say or the centroids move or the memberships change right so initially we want to plot the random centroids right and we're not passing any membership matrix that's why all the data points are going to be with the same color and then as soon as we update the memberships here we will pass the matrix now okay same thing is going to happen after we update the centroids i think that's all so if we call now the algorithm let's say with five centroids we have a problem yeah i think it's right here let's try now here should be color instead of colors Okay, again we have another problem now. Let me check. Okay, because we need to set this variable. It's colors. We forgot to set the colors. Let's try now. it seems to be working so if I go to the folder so this is this timestamp we can see here we have the pictures right so we can see the evolution of the running in the pictures and you can see that the name of the folder is as we did in the timestamp okay great Something else we have to save is the actual output of the result of their execution, right? For example, besides the images, we want to add one column with the group per data entry. And also we want to return the final centroids, right? So for that, we can create a function called save output here that is going to receive the centroids and the matrix G. which actually has all the information we need to create the output. Uh, so ideally, we return the memberships with a number. That's going to be much easier. So we can do something very similar to what we did on the creation of the image here. So we copy this. We build the memberships and we create like a data frame as an output. So it's going to be a pandas data frame it's important to keep the same index as the data so the index is going to be self.data.index.values so here we are using the same data index and as data we are using the memberships let's call the the column groups and the here will be memberships okay so we are creating a new data frame with two columns basically the index and the memberships so later we can open that uh, file and join it with uh, our database here we need to generate the csv file with the out uh, data frame so let's say out to csv this is going to create the CSV file and uh, this is going to go into the out path so it's that path that join our out path with the name of this file let's call it resulting groups .csv. Um, so let's use as a separation 
commas and uh, the index here label is going to be index okay and for the centroids is similar the centroids we want to generate a CSV but here is going to be resulting centroids we don't want to create any index because we have just k centroids right so indexing there doesn't make sense that should be fine so let's return and now see what's the problem here yeah when you we lost that parenthesis okay so we have to call this function at the end of the while here in the main loop of the round function okay I think that's all so let's run the algorithm again so let's go to our folder it's this one you can see the images are being generated something we're missing is to make sure that the colors are not the same like randomly that's an interesting thing You've gotta check that yeah okay so here we have the file with the centroids let's take a look to it so we here we have the centroids the coordinates on all the features right because in this case we have just two variables so two numbers and the resulting groups it's a file with just two columns right the index and the groups so we can later join this with the original database so that's it